Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are playing for Sagittarius. This is going to be a timeless reading, so you guys can watch this video whenever it finds you. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so you may not be able to resonate with this reading right now, and that's totally okay. Feel free to watch any of my old videos, or even come back next week, because I may be picking up your energy then. Alright, what is going on for the lovely Sagittariuses? So I'm getting like love stuff in here, but I do have to say like a quick short message for someone here. There is someone here that is very jealous of you. Their eyes are like green with envy. I feel like this person just kind of has malice in their heart because I feel like they're really taking the time of day to try to plan something um, negative towards you is what I'm seeing, but you guys are divinely protected here. Like, this person, like, they can't touch you, I just heard. Yeah, again, you're being spiritually protected. I see you have, like, a very strong guardian angel keeping you safe. And even beyond that, I'm seeing, like, this flame over your head. Again, a great indicator of spiritual protection, but I feel like even if you didn't have that guardian angel, just so you guys can understand the extent to how protected you are, like, that power of protection is coming from within you like the universe god spirit whatever you want to call it it's almost like a flaming force field of protection around you yeah again i'm seeing like this big wall again indicating like just how protected you are yeah you're literally like this golden egg that's being cradled by the hands of god or like the creator if that makes sense and yeah, even regardless of that, like, there's a very strong, like, angelic presence around you. Like, again, you guys have, like, a really strong spirit guide or, like, a very strong guardian angel watching over you, protecting you from, like, the unseen unseen. Yeah, so just know that, like, if this person is planning anything against you, like, it's not going to work. It's just going to, like, backfire and bounce right back to them. And this is just your guardian angel's way of saying, like, don't worry, like, you're safe, like, I'm protecting you. And for some of you, I'm not even seeing just, like, one guardian angel. I'm seeing about, like, three here. And for some of you, this may come off as, like, a weird message, but, like, I'm gonna say it anyway. I feel like for a lot of you guys in the spirit realm, like, your true spirit is very special, if that makes sense. Like, the universe definitely sent you guys here for a reason, and it's like when God, the Creator, Spirit, whatever you want to call Him, sent you to Earth, He also sent, like, a specific team of, like, guardian angels or guides, basically, to, like, watch you and protect you and guide you on your path because you guys have, like, a really big purpose to fulfill, if that makes sense. Yeah, because it's like I'm being shown someone, like, on a path and, like, arrows are being flung at this person but like none of them are touching them like they're all being deflected because like again you are divinely protected upon the path that you walk like it's very important is what i'm getting it's kind of making me emotional because again it's like you guys serve a very big purpose whether you realize it or not yeah it's like i'm seeing a king or a queen and it's like you know how they have all those people like surrounding them protecting them so they can like serve like that's kind of what i'm getting here and they're showing me like this king or queen reference so you can truly understand just like the magnitude of importance your spirit has and like to the extent of how divinely protected you truly are like that's basically what i'm getting here okay so enough of that i'm also getting some love messages here and we're gonna get into it okay so straight up i'm hearing someone is very impatient for you okay this person can't wait to be neck deep in your juices they can't wait to pounce on you and feel every inch of your body 
yeah, I'm hearing they can't wait to get their claws on you. They just want to, like, wrap themselves all up in you. Like, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm hearing in this person's eyes, you guys are, like, perfect. You guys are, like, a god or a goddess to this person, and they want to worship you and your body. Like, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm hearing they want to worship you from your head all the way down to your toes. For some of you, this person also really likes your feet. So they definitely could be into that, but like, yeah, this person just feels like every inch of you is perfect. Yeah, I'm hearing it's just what I like. Yeah, like you are golden in this person's eyes. Literally, they see you as the equivalent to like Willy Wonka's golden ticket. Like, yeah, that's you. And it's like, they feel like you're someone that everyone wants to get their hands on, but like no one can find basically, like in the story. And it's like, they hope that they're lucky enough to get this golden ticket because they really want to like rub it in other people's faces is what I'm getting. I feel like this person really likes to have things that other people can't and it's like, you are basically that thing in this person's eyes. It's like, there can be a lot of people interested in you but you guys don't really entertain it or like, maybe you guys are in the public eyes. So again, a lot of people have their eyes on you but it's like, they can look but they can't touch like I feel like you guys don't really pay mind to the attention you get like that if that makes sense that's also something this person really loves about you and kind of makes you more valuable in their eyes if that makes sense and like that kind of makes them want you even more especially because like everyone wants you but no one can have you and again like they want to get to be the lucky person that gets to say that they have you like that's basically what's coming through here. This may even be something that this person like messages you about or like talks to you about. Uh, for some of you, I'm seeing something about like a phone call, so maybe this person will call you um, and like maybe they'll talk about it. I don't know. That's definitely something that's here though. Um, let's see. I'm also getting that this person really likes your butt and they really want to bend you over and take you to pound town and I don't use that phrase so that may be a confirmation for someone but yeah this person is definitely wanting to bend you over and make you scream all night until you guys hear like the birds chirping in the morning like that's what I'm getting and yeah again like there's some type of like impatience or like anticipation around it it's like this person can't wait for that to happen if it is gonna happen like yeah this person definitely can't wait for it um in fact like i feel like you may get a text message from this person and they're basically gonna be telling you either like just how bad they've been wanting you or like they're gonna sext you or like for some of you i feel like this person is gonna call you because they really want to hear your voice and have like a very spicy intimate conversation with you like that's what i'm getting so that's what i got for you guys some signs that popped up in here i see cancer scorpio cancer aries leo aquarius taurus leo scorpio scorpio aquarius virgo libra leo taurus scorpio taurus scorpio for some of you i feel like the upcoming taurus new moon and upcoming scorpio full moon is going to be very significant like something may be happening around that time pertaining to the situation or like because time is fluid maybe something happened like for you guys that was significant around the last time the moon was in those placements this can also be like the scorpio new moon taurus full moon you kind of understand like what i'm trying to get at here like definitely something significant could be happening or could have happened around those moon placements okay so yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart, whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. And make sure to check out my song for the very first time featuring Wild Boy Slink. I'm going to let that play at the end, and I'm also going to have a link down below. Um, definitely go check that out, and thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!